video about um, integrating Ionic latest version with a few components with um, uh, um, Amplify. If we get to the Amplify directory, open source uh, framework, the build full stack iOS, Android, Flutter, Web, and React Native app apps. We're focused specifically on Ionic framework using Vue.js. They have a set of UI components. Um, we will use the view UI components um, to integrate with the application. Uh, we'll focus on, uh, as I said, just authentication initially in this one, and then in the next videos, we'll cover data and some other things. I initially was trying to get everything rolling with this new um, Amplify. Uh, I was trying initially to get everything rolling with this Amplify admin UI. I keep running into issues with connectivity and tokens and everything, so I'm just bagging that. And we're just going to go and do it the old-fashioned way of um, creating a user and using the command line. So I'll include the link below, but you guys need to follow the process to install AWS, um, AWS Amplify to CLI. And then um, you need to kind of set up your user and everything. Uh, I've done all that already to kind of save you some time. This video and the instruction, you just walk right through it. You set up your user. And where we're going to start is right here on the end um, with the Amplify init. So before we hop into that, I just want to remind you guys, please make sure to like and subscribe. Give me some feedback on these videos if there's something you'd like to see. And uh, let's talk about what we've built in the application. So this application is a pretty straightforward application. Yeah, it's still running. Um, we just have a app with a logout button. There's nothing else done here. The application is your, um, it's just the blank uh, template. What I've done in the home view, I've just created a template. In the template, I have a, a content section that you should see when you're logged in. Um, so now let's get to the application. Let's see if we can follow along with the instructions, see how close the instructions are to real life. So let's get back to where we're getting started. Yeah, so we're in the root of our project. Let's switch over and uh, let's run this command, amplify init. And we'll use this name that's always picked for us. Um, JavaScript view, it's figured all that stuff out. Initialize the project as configuration, yes. Um, I think I set it up, let's see which one. I think I set it up with, because I have access keys and profile on here. Let's see if profile works. We'll use the default profile. So now it's gonna set up my backend for me. And we'll just kind of let that run and to get a whole bunch of steps. You can see kind of what's going on to try to configure the backend. So let's, let's let this run. Okay, so it looks like it's all set up. Um, so let's just try a couple of these things. Let's see, amplify status. So we've got nothing set up. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do the auth. So for authentic, let's click authentication. See what the instructions say here. Overview, straightforward. Um, amplify add auth. So let's add authentication. Um, we're going to use the default configuration, which is just email. How do you want the users to be able to sign in? We want them to be able to sign in with their email. Uh, I do not want to figure advanced settings this time around. Okay. So successfully added auth. So let's check the status again. So it says we have auth added, but you see here, it says you need to, you need to, um, take all the stuff I've done locally and push it to my back end. So let's do amplify push. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Okay, so everything's all updated. Now what we want to do is we want to switch over to these UI components. So let's switch over to the UI components. We're going to use the view three ones. Um, so let's add everything that we need. Let's copy this command. We're using NPM, so let's do an NPM install. And let that run. Let's see what we got going on over here in the code. See, Amplify already added some stuff here. Added some configuration information, added some files to support the backend work. Now we're going to add the library and see if we can try to get some code working here. We're going to be using this authenticator component. That's what we're going to stick with first. So, all right, so everything's here. Compile this. Um, let's go to the authenticator component and see how it works. So, we're using Vue 3. Did we add the UI components? Let's see. Amplify view 3. Yes, we added the UI components. 
Um, and now here's the main usage. So let's just take a hop in here and see what they got going on. So let's go to our main. And that is here. Uh, main TS. And looks like the green stuff is the stuff we got to do. This is kind of weird how they have it done. It's kind of hard to copy it with the pluses and minuses, but we'll just copy it. You don't need the create app. We don't need, we just need these input. Well, let's get this. So we got to import those guys. And then we need this components loader. Let's get this. Let's make sure we keep it all in the amplify so it's clear to see what's what. Let's get these pluses out of here, which is what I was talking about before. Um, so let's do, let's just delete them manually. Save, format. Um, now it's complaining, it's like, what the hell are you doing with them? So let's take this and uh, set up the configuration. So we'll do an amplify configure right here. Uh, what's this? Okay, so this was one of the issues that I found before. So um, we need to actually define this type. So we can go over here to the shims file and we'll just add it. So where is it? And then the other thing is that we need to be able to compile JavaScript. So let's go down to tsconfig and allow JavaScript is true. I think this should be, let's see, is this enough? Back to our compile. So we compile this guy. That looks like that addressed our issues with the AWS exports. And so then now what's the next thing they do here? Got a bunch of stuff going on here. So it's just complaining about the ref. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is, I guess it looks like they apply these polyfills. So let's copy that. And they're doing this after the config. And then the, well, they got a lot going on. Then after the create app, but before you mount it, they got this thing going on. So let's clean up this code a bit and see if we can get everything working fine. Uh, bang, bang, uh, bang. Let's format. Okay. So we have their changes in. It looks like, so if you're getting issues, it's still complaining about this ref. Let's take this ref out. Where is it complaining? It's complaining about the ref in. Where is my ref complaining? In my home page. So let's just get this ref out of here for now. We'll bring it back later. All right. So everything now is running the way it's supposed to run. Now let's see. So that's how I set up my main. We're going to just focus on this approach here. For, so what do we want in our main app view? But we're not putting it in our app view. We're putting it in our home. Well, let's go back into home. And this is these, I mean, I'll be frank with you. I find these instructions on how to use this quite confusing. Um, but we'll follow it along because these are their instructions. And so here we, if we go into the... But um, what looks like what they're doing is on created, they're checking the else state. So let's do that. Let's copy this code. And let's do. Because um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this anyway. So this should be on created. Actually, let's do it in on mount. On mounted. And. Yeah, they're doing this kind of the view three, view two way. We're going to kind of port all this to the view three way. Um, so we don't need this here. We're going to do go like this. We're going to say conf const eh. const unsubscribe auth equals ref. Let's add our ref in. Let's move this stuff down out of the way. Okay, then we need this auth uh, UI state change, which, uh, which is coming here from this Amplify UI. So let's add this to our project. So we get that resolved. Um, this needs to be a value. Actually, I don't think this needs to be uh, reactive. So we can just make this just a regular constant. Okay. Um, well, let's, sorry. Okay, this state should 
Where did my import just go? Let's put that back. So my import. So that takes care of that. Um, it looks like they're keeping track of auth state and user data. Let's make those refs. So let's say const ref, I mean, sorry, const auth state ref any And then we'll do the same thing for the user data. And this user. Okay, and then because we're these are refs, this needs to be value. So let's change this to value. Let's change this to value. And I'll state value, I'll state ref, like that all looks fine. What's it complaining about? I'll state value. Value is not exist on type of Okay, what's going on? Oh, um, let's, it's complaining because the name's up there. So let's rename my local one, current, the current auth state. We'll say you are auth state. Let's do it like that. Okay. Um, return. Um, what is going on here? I'm in my setup. The setup returns something. This is my unmounted. And my unmounted needs this, this, this. Okay. So it's complaining because I'm not unsubscribing. So um, I need to see how they're doing on the before unmount. They're unsubscribing. So let's do that. There's got to be something on, on unmounted. And then what we'll do is we'll just call this function to subscribe. Okay. All right. So we have handling the auth authenticated and unauthenticated happening. So we've managed that. Let's go back to what they're saying. There's, it's a GUI component. Let's see if we can get, all right. So that's getting it set up. Now we're authenticating with the um, email address. So this is fine. So we can just copy this code here and let's put this in our template. And we're gonna wrap this whole thing with it. Okay, and so now it's running in and it's getting an auth state of sign in. And let's see, I think this is because of the test users I had used previously. Let's see if that. All right, so now we have the UI and it's saying it needs someone to sign in or create account. I got that from just wrapping the um, my home page with it. So let's see if, let's try to create an account. I don't think I want to be sitting inside of there, but it's there. So um, let's use my, because it's going to send me an email for confirmation. So I have to use a real email address. So let's put a real email address in here. Um, it looks like by default it's requiring a phone number. So let me just put uh, my real phone, uh, phone. Let me just put a phone number in there and create account. And so it should have sent me a confirmation code, which I did receive and I will enter. And looks like I am now logged in, but the question is why didn't it render my authenticated content? You must configure is custom element option from the compiler configuration. Let's see what's going on with that. So we don't have a view. Is it? So let's create this. Uh, so this is what they got. Let's copy this and see if this solves our problem. So let's go in here.
Okay, so that resolved that issue. Yeah, so it looks like the issue is that I needed, let's put this back. I needed to wrap the whole page. Ionic did not like it um, when I just wrapped just inside the content. So here, let's comment that. So I had to wrap it up there. So this is where it starts. And then this is, you can see it's ending down here. So let's put that down here. All right, and then the next part is we wanna be able to handle log out. Let me get this debugger thing out of here because it's kind of just being disruptive. Well, first of all, let's put our, um, let's see what we have in our user. So let's add a, that to the UI. So let's go up here when we're logged in. And we got a return user. So let's return user down here. And so we have our, all of our user back, but let's clean. Let's, uh, let's just see if we can just get user.email. I think it's um, attributes. Yeah, so now that's the uh, attribute of the logged in user. Now let's take a look here and see how we handle sign out. So for sign out, you just drop it in and you put the button text. So let's copy this and let's change this here. And just remove this and see what happens. Still giving us their ugly sign out. I think also let's go back. Let's just remove our button. So we just removed the button completely and we just used the, um, the amplify sign out UI helper that we have. And let's see what the app looks like now. So now we're logged in and we get this sign out here. Um, let's see if we can move this and put it down in a footer. So let's go down here, let's say ion. Inside the footer, we're gonna put this. So now we get it, let's put some padding on that. As so we got a little bit of padding around that, and then now we're on a home page. All right, so this took a little bit longer than I expected, but it let's well actually let's uh, sign out. So we're signed out. We're back here again, and let's try to log in one more time. And now we're signed back in. All right, so that took a little bit longer than I expected, but it got us where we wanted to. We showed you how to quickly. Um, integrate authentication using the UI components um, from um, Amplify. Um, I jumped down to the migration, which it seems like that was a confusing thing, which I didn't need to do. But what we did is we we used um, right here this auth state usage to keep track of when you were logged in or logged out. And then um, we also can track this change of the state because that's what that's doing for us. The um, managing auth state in the conditional uh, app rendering, this is the approach that we used. We were basically just wrapping the whole page with this Amplify Authenticator, and it'll only render the content if we're authenticated. Um, we modified this code a bit to kind of use the View 3 setup approach. So we switched some of these things from data, we set them up as references and constants inside of setup. Um, we used the email authentication, and uh, that's what we did. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. For the next part, we'll incorporate data, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.